In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to repressurize your RO holding tank. First, turn off the feed water to your RO system. Then you will need to empty the holding tank of all its water. There are two ways of emptying the tank. The first way is to open your RO tap and drain all the water out through the tap. The second way is to shut off the RO holding tank and take it to a sink or outside to drain it. Note that if you had no or extremely low air pressure, that there still may be water left in the tank. It will come out when you start filling the tank with air. To fill the holding tank with air, you will need to locate the air valve. It is normally on the bottom or side of the holding tank. Once located, remove the valve dust cover. The valve will be the same that is on a car tire or bicycle tire. First, check the air pressure with a low pressure gauge. Check the air pressure with a low pressure gauge. We want to have seven pounds of air pressure in the holding tank when it's completely empty. If the air pressure is lower than seven PSI, you will need to start adding air with either an air pump or a compressor. When you start adding air, some more water might come out of the tank. Add a little bit of air at a time and recheck your pressure. If you add too much pressure, you can let some of the air pressure out until you hit seven pounds of pressure. Once the tank is repressurized, you can then hook it back up to your RO system. From there, make sure the tank is turned on and then you can turn on your feed water. Note that it might take up to an hour to fully fill your tank. 